Hey everyone, it's Marco again here with Marco's Tech Talk, and today we're going to be unboxing a keyboard and trackpad combo. So this keyboard here is going to have both a keyboard and a trackpad attached to it. So that should be pretty cool there. It's by a Real Internet Idea, or RII. Bought this a few months ago uh, with the intention of opening it up sooner, but didn't end up getting around to that until today. So uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and unbox this thing. Alright, so here's the box. Once again, it is an RII multimedia wireless keyboard. Uh, so it says it's going to provide complete input and control for smart TV, TV box, tablets, computers, and other mobile devices. So that is exciting there. Uh, it does say it has multi-touch on it. Uh, I guess we'll see just how good that multi-touch actually works. I am going to be a little bit skeptical of that until I actually open it. Honestly, I can't remember how much this thing was. Like I said, it was a few months ago I bought it. I, I want to say it was like $25 maybe. But I can't remember for sure. I want to say that's what it was. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so my real internet idea here, and I've never heard of this company before, ever, so I'm not really sure what kind of quality this is going to be. Uh, it's got, it says it's genuine product, so I guess that's helpful. That's great. Yeah, so let's see what else it says about it. It says it has, oh, okay, it lets you know about the lights. Caps lock, charge. 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection, low power, and then of course we've got some a uh, multimedia quick start keys. A lot of keyboards have that these days anyway, stuff like that. So I guess we'll go ahead and actually open this up now. So it looks like it's going to be a sleeve that we're going to just go ahead and slide the box right on out of, but I may be wrong. All right, it looks like I might be wrong. Maybe I will. Try to pull it out a little bit off camera. Or maybe I just open it. It looks like I was just able to open it from the side here. So let's go ahead and see what's going on in the box. I feel like there's probably some more in there. It's gotta be, unless, unless there isn't. It looks like there should be some other stuff in this box. Yes, okay, so here is the USB cable it was in there. This is for the receiver, I'm assuming, which is not present in here yet. Maybe it's in in this little sleeve. So let's go ahead and open up the keyboard. All right, so there it is. It's got some nice outline keys for sure. I like that a lot about it already. I'm not sure if this was RGB or backlit, I guess we'll find out when I show you guys how it actually looks. So, yeah, it says it's three color LED on the box, so it should be, oh yeah, and it's got a light button here. So I think I bought it because of that, honestly. This looks like it's for scrolling. Get a little closer for you guys there. It looks like it's for scrolling here, and then we got right click and left click. And the whole trackpad clicks too, so I'm wondering if it's a little bit like an Apple keyboard in that sense. And all that there, so... I'm going to spend some time, I guess, looking around for, maybe it doesn't actually have a receiver or something like that. All right, let's look at it again. Oh, it says the USB charger and the receiver are, are inside. Plug the receiver into a computer USB port and it shows you how to use multi-touch. So, all right, let's go ahead and look to see where the receiver is. I see a wire back here, so perhaps it's in... Oh, and there it is. Look at how nifty that is. I was over here about to complain and say that it, it's missing, but there it is. So that's the receiver there, and this looks like the actual charging cable right in there. So that's actually pretty cool. I like that. So you can easily bring it around with you wherever you go, and then it slides back into uh, this little thing, slides back in there and locks, and that's good. Actually pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing connected and see how it looks. Okay, so the keyboard itself is connected. We're going to go ahead and actually turn it on. Looks like this might be the power switch here. Yep, nifty off and on switch. So we'll go ahead and switch that and look at that. Wow, we've got a nice green display or a nice green uh, LED backlight there. So it does work. I'm seeing that it works great so far. The trackpad does function as a left click on its own, at least in Windows. I'm probably going to be using this mostly in Linux. So it does work that way. Right click works as expected. Uh, I'm going to be interested to see 
how it zooms in on things. That's another thing I want to know. It doesn't feel too bad, actually, using it. It doesn't feel terrible. It doesn't feel great, but it doesn't feel terrible, so, you know, can't really expect it to be amazing. Multi-touch actually works well. Let's go ahead and show you guys how, how that works. I'll just move the camera up for you real fast. All right. So the backlight did just turn off, though I wanted to catch that. I'm not sure why. That's interesting. But if I use my two fingers, I can easily use multi-touch, which is a shock, truly a shock. I'm impressed that that actually works right off the bat. So yeah, let's go back to the keyboard again and uh, look at what other features it may or may not have. So it looks like I can cycle through the colors like that. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, and yeah, I guess this looks like a left click button here that does do left click. So I guess I'll just say, yeah, it does left click. So that's cool. Not sure why you'd want that, but hey, it doesn't hurt to have extra features. This doesn't seem to work. Maybe I have to hold function. Okay. Yeah. So this all works on windows 10 right away, which is a cool thing there. And yeah, so that's pretty much going to sum it up guys. I don't really know what else uh, to talk about, about the keyboard. It looks like just works like it's supposed to, at least for now. And it has three backlight colors. That's nice as well. And uh, yeah. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Thanks a lot.